Hey, Gun Nuts. I uh, just want to show you guys a real cool shirt before I get started here on what we're going to talk about today. Uh, yeah, Molong Le B. We in the gun community know what that means. And then on the back, let's see if I can show you. Ah, you know, American Infidel, baby. Come on with it. All right. Enough of my t-shirt hype here. Um, I wanted to talk to you. To, oh. PT111 G2. Completely clear. 1911. Completely clear. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Just, anyway. All right. Um, the reason why I was coming today to talk was uh, I got presented a question. Um, I actually I get this question a lot. Um, it's a two-part question. Uh, one is, do I carry around in the chamber? Yes. The reason I carry around in the chamber is that there may not be time to rack the slide on your weapon. I have a lot of friends that say, oh, well, you know, something happens, you know, I'll just... Yeah, to me, that's show and tell. That's Hollywood. You know, you're using that as an intimidation factor. I think the gun being out enough is, is enough of an intimidation. That sound is, is, is a, a moot point, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't really need that to, if you're going to try to use that to defuse a situation. I think just the, the sight of the handgun is going to be enough. Um, if hopefully you're that, at that level and you can defuse the situation just by that, uh, you also have to be careful with that uh, brandishing a firearm can get you in trouble. Uh, the other part of that is, um, there might not be time for you to rack the slide. You may be already into a fight, a gunfight, and you're being fired at. And that's an obstacle for you to have to defeat because you have to get your gun into, into the fight. When, to me, you should have already had it ready to go. If you're not going to carry it around in the chamber, in my opinion, then I'm not going to carry my gun. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't see a point in it. I mean, I'd rather have the gun than not, but I would rather have a, cha a round chamber than not also. Um, two is, what if you're hit in this gunfight and say you're right-handed like I am and your left hand is damaged? You get hit or you fall and, and something happens to your hand and it's out of, out of play and you cannot rack your slide. Well, obviously because you are counted on being able to show and tell, you probably don't train to be able to rack your slide off your clothing or your belt or your shoe or the corner of a table or wall. So if you're not going to carry around in the chamber, now again, this is all things that I do. I'm not saying that you have to do it. I'm just letting you know, according to what people ask me, what I do. So I would train for other options. If you're not going to carry around in the chamber and you're, you're uncomfortable with that, then try to train for other options to be able to rack the slide and um, hopefully be able to save your life if something happens. And three, if you're not carrying around in the chamber because you think it's dangerous, that was a point brought to me, oh, I, I think it's dangerous. Yeah, it's a firearm, it's dangerous, but training is the best safety. So um, I, I would, um, this is what I told a friend of mine to do. I told him to take his gun, completely empty it, Rack the slide. He has a Glock. So as you know, once you pull that trigger on a Glock, then the, the gun is is no more striker ready. It has to be racked again or a round has to be entered the chamber. So I told him to go ahead and just rack the slide, put your magazine in, holster your weapon, and carry it around all day. Now if you at the end of the day when you take out your magazine and you know check your chamber, if that gun has been fired, then you want to get rid of that gun. Any gun that this the uh, chamber or the, the uh, striker has been tripped or the hammer has dropped, you want to get rid of that gun. Something's either wrong with it or you might want to check your holster. If something's wrong with your holster and it's tripping your trigger, then you've got some issues to worry about. Um, but other than that, I'm carrying around. I try to use good equipment that uh, I carry my guns in and make sure that... Um, I don't have an issue with that. 
Uh, for this, I ended up getting the uh, the Vetter holster. Um, it's one of the uh, inside the waistband tuckable holsters. I gotta uh, try to put a link up if I can get a link or if I can remember what the name of it is, I'll add it in on the editing. Um, the other question I get is, do I use the safety on my gun? Particularly the, the G2. I've been carrying this firearm ever since I've done the review on it and I've done the shoot on it. I've been carrying this gun daily. Um, and the, the answer to that question is no, I don't use the safety. I've trained with Glocks and other striker fire pistols that do not have an external safety, so I'm comfortable with not having to worry about defeating that obstacle. To me, that's an obstacle. If something happens and I'm in a fight, I don't want to have to worry about remembering to trip my safety. So I leave that off. The only time that I do use the safety on this firearm is at night when I'm home with my family and I leave the gun. We have a, a small college style, like a dorm room refrigerator in the room on top of our nightstand. Because when my wife was pregnant, it was um, a little easier to have that convenience in the room. Long story short. Um, we, our son now is almost three years old, and he's very inquisitive, but from the distance up that the gun is, he won't be able to get to it. Uh, he'd probably fall and hurt himself before he even got to where the gun is. And I can see it, I can reach it, but he can't. And um, I will go ahead and put the safety on at night and, and leave it up there just for a little bit more peace of mind for myself. Um, but if there's ever a situation where I'm up with the, the gun, the first thing is safety's coming off. I, I don't really care for the safeties on, on firearms for particular carry guns or anything like that. And I've been using this as a bedside, a carry, a range gun, all of those good things. Um, so that's just my opinion on that. Um, you know, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about... Uh, carrying around in the chamber, carrying with the safety on or off, if your gun is equipped with a, a manual external safety, or how you feel about it in general. Um, please like, share, please subscribe, and um, God bless you, and happy shooting.